and not doing that because sometimes going zero to 100% thrust can cause a little bit of torque. And with this being so unbalanced, I thought it was going to... Oh, crud. Wait, are we completely out? Okay. Looks like we are out. So let me go ahead and decouple. Decouple, okay. Now, where's our next engine? Um, activate engine, okay. Uh, oh, oh, apparently you put the shroud around it. So we just need to wait for this to explode, which hopefully happens soon. There we go, it's heating up. Hopefully it explodes because I think I... Uh, jettison shroud. Uh, did I not just say jettison shroud? Oh, maybe that was the engine shroud. Well, let's hope this works because uh, this could have definitely gone better. If this doesn't work, we might have to... Uh, Oh boy. Well, uh, we might have to just keep transferring fuel from here <laughs> into here. Yeah, because that's not going to explode, is it? And I'm just burning fuel. Oh boy. Uh, that was not, uh, that's not good. I wonder if we can't just break it off a little bit using our RCS. Okay, uh, didn't foresee this problem in our list of many, many problems. Uh, let me try switching to my RCS. And seeing if I can't just sort of give it a little nudge. Uh, against the engine chunk that we left behind. Yep. Of the many problems I thought about... This was not one of them, so which way do I want to go? Wrong way. Okay, basically I want to just slam right into it and see what happens. It's docking, but more violent. Yep, uh, that was a really good plan on my part. So hopefully we don't have to bring this to 16 episodes just to get the ship heading off to meet Jeb. Is that... Let me see if I can turn the lights on. Here we go. Okay. Come on. Come on. Break it. Break it. Ah, crud. I don't think we had enough speed. Okay, let's, let's give it one more... one more ramming go. Uh, okay. Because I don't think no matter how long I... I don't know if there's a way just to destroy a part. Okay, come on. Get up some speed. I don't want to light Jeb's engines just in case. You know what? I'm going to press our friend F9. I have a way around this. I might have a way around this. It's not going to be... What I hoped. Okay, uh, let me make sure. Okay, let's get this going. So we'll get up to full throttle. So this is good. It's not going full throttle and torquing it. Okay, we're going to start our burn. And you will see what I do next. Uh, hopefully this works. I'm starting a little bit early because I need to account for uh, a maneuver, a little bit of rotation that I wasn't initially planning on but I still have an idea. <laughs> it's not very pretty, uh, but you know what? If it gets Jeb home, I guess uh, I guess that's, that's what we need. So let's just let this maneuver, or this uh, engine burn for our maneuver, and then I'm going to hurry and try and fix our problem. And we just won't say anything to Jeb. Um, oh, actually, let me check. Yep, never mind. I just had to check something on OBS. It looked like I was having an issue, but I'm not, so all's good. Well, I mean, all is good other than the whole that engine isn't going to work because whoops, problem. Okay, so I guess uh, remember to put your shrouds below your separation. That will prevent things like this. Uh, yeah, that was that was good on my part. Good on me. I, I deserve a, an internet round of applause, so... Feel free to give me one of those. 
for my uh, lovely mistake there. But in the meantime, let's uh, point out how attractive the uh, real plume mod looks, along with the um, Eve mod to make it look super pretty down there. So at least it looks pretty when I'm screwing up, I guess. Um, you know what? What's the ISP on this? Specific impulse. That's a really efficient engine, isn't it? I bet it's actually more efficient than... Oh, it doesn't even say. That's, how do I tell... You know, I'm wondering if I shouldn't just transfer fuel into here instead of doing my other uh, technique. We're hauling a lot of extra... You know what? That's a lot of extra mass to be throwing around. I think it might reduce our efficiency. Um, a little bit too much. Man, I don't know. I uh, wish I would have checked these things. Okay, so let's try it again. If it doesn't work, yes, I'm going to have to go back. Decouple. Okay, now we want to control from here. And now we want to point at our maneuver. And this is going to take a minute. But luckily it won't take as long because we ditched uh, a bunch of weight and mass there. So the little tiny reaction wheel in here... I. You know, I wonder if that reaction wheel is actually going to... Uh, yeah, I think that one's still going to help us. It's just um, not where we're controlling from. So yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I know that uh, we are passing our maneuver node. And let me cut the throttle before I uh, go ahead and activate that engine. So yes, this is my brilliant plan, is to use Jeb's lander and suck fuel from the big orange tank the whole way <laughs> because... I I made big style mistakes. Yep, that's uh, okay. Let's see what happens. Well, uh, yeah, it's the same specific impulse, and we ditched the mass. So I think that uh, that will end up working. Now, if you'll excuse me, get something out of my eye because you know, kind of need to see. I think we're good. Well, uh, problem solved, I guess. And I will just make sure I keep pulling. I wonder if I can uh, enable crossfeed. Uh, I don't know where I would have to do it. Disable crossfeed? No. Um, oh, well, I'll just manually transfer it. It won't be that big of a deal. And uh, Jeb will not have to know that we made a massive, massive mistake.